circumstance. But as I left the place, uh, only connection avoided with uh, any kind of narcotic with that is not pot. So the J plus uh, 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 cocaine. I knew he was sniffing. In the beginning, I thought it was just an occasional kick, but once discussing it with Sean, he said, you're kidding, he's doing it for two years regular. Which you're in a room. Plus with narcotics tanks now, other than pot. No, she did take LSD for you before we met. Many times. And actually, when we met, we discussed it because I took LSD at that time too. It was the time when it was legal. <laughs> I knew it. I took three times, and I had terrible uh, trips. And we were discussing it, and she said, "If you say LSD now, it already uh, 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 knocks my brain out." And uh, she said that she took it many times. And she liked it in the beginning, it helped her a lot, in, you know, because she was very inhibited. But she uh, arrived at the stage when she knew that one more trip and she would uh, just be gone. And so she gave it up. So she gave it up. That was before. Uh, as a matter of fact, this the one. The uh, you see, there was this first meeting, one of the first hour meetings, when there was this, today we talked to him about the LSD, and I still had some. And uh, this is the thing I never, I didn't tell anybody yet about. It was one of the first meetings, it was in 1965, and and we were discussing, and I said, why don't you try it once more? I would like to try it with you. And uh, I was leaving the next day for Sweden, and we took the end, just a little thing, you know, and we split it so it was a very small dose, so we were not so completely out of it. And we spent all night talking, and it was only time, it was the third time that I took it. It was quite pleasant. Talking, talking a lot. And in the morning she started flipping out and screaming. I was scared to death. And uh, there was a, it looked like we were going to make love in the middle of the night. But so we didn't, you know, we turned to uh, some horror. I was trying to say, please, the, well, everything is all right. And she was just screaming. She flipped, you know. And uh, in the morning she said, you see, taken and this is the end of it. And it was an end of it for me and for her. It was my third trip and her, uh, as she told me, like 60s or 40s. And each time she went to out of it the same way? I don't understand. Uh, did she have the same uh, hallucinations uh, each time? No. In words, she she said the, no, no, she said that in the beginning it was very pleasant. Oh, she enjoyed it, you know, that she had nice, you know, kind of hallucinations and a lot of fun, but gradually she, uh, we talked about it to many people, even to the journalists, and we never made a secret out of it. And she said that her brain told her where to stop it, you know, and that she never took it. Well, I can imagine, too, that that's, uh, there's probably degrees of uh, strength of LSD, too, whether it's always exactly the same. In other words, she might have been pleasant initially, but later on it may have uh, become a stronger dose, perhaps. That's probably what happened. Well, but anyway, I can assure you this, and I know that she didn't use any drug for four years, I mean, except for pot. And not too much. And certainly during her pregnancy, that I mean, there's no 
question. I mean, she was so preoccupied with this bloody, you know, pregnancy that she was, I mean, drink. sometimes when you drink like half a glass of wine, it's not going to upset her baby. Okay, so she would take half a glass and she wouldn't touch it or she would just, you know, pretend that she was drinking. What was your relationship with Sharon's uh, parents? Was it just a cordial or what? Cordial, but uh, rather boring. You know, her father I liked very, very much. Mother was very warm towards me and very, um, you know, very exuberant. And, uh, uh, but she's, uh, you know, she was too much, I mean, for Charlotte and for me in a way of uh, some kind of uh, cuddling mysticism and things like that, you know. Her father was well to get a lovely man. And we went to visit them sometimes, but uh, we were very good relations. They, 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 they liked me very much. I think they loved me, and I think they loved me now more even because of it. And I feel closer to them now and to their sister, her sister. Debbie and Patty. Um, I wanted to ask you one more set here, Ramon. That had to do with uh, where you think Sharon was first attacked in this thing. Do you have, uh, I know you made a statement the effect that you uh, thought she was first attacked in the bedroom or that she was asleep, is that right? No, that wasn't my statement. Nobody else correct. Did. No, I stated that she must have been in bed because the way the bed was set indicates that she was already in bed. First, the bed was, uh, during the day the bed was made by I'm a housekeeper. And the bed was slept in, I could see it, and the way the pillows were set along the bed were the thing she was doing when I wasn't with her, you know, so she would lie the pillows along, you know, uh, and then cattle to these pillows and put her stone, especially when she was pregnant. She found that it was the best position for her lying on her side. Therefore, and upon the pattern of this type of evening, I know that Jay would hang on, you know, a long time. Sharon would go to bed, you know, he would talk to Wojtek and sit with a can of beer because there was anything he was drinking. So I assume that, and I know that Sharon was going early to bed every evening since she was pregnant, and she was very tired, and it was eight months. So as I assume that either Wojtek and, 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 and uh, Jay were sitting and talking, maybe accompanied by Phoebe, if she was not in her bed. And Sharon was in, 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 in her bed. That's how I see the thing. I don't know why. I mean, knowing the house, I think I have no If there were no other person present, and uh, that police should know better because I don't know how many glasses they were standing, etc. They took it away. There was one joint that I found. I don't know why police didn't find it. In an ashtray. Joint. I mean, the piece of uh, marijuana uh, cigarette. I found it on my second visit, you know, just looking in ashtray on my desk. There was one uh, piece of marijuana cigarette. Did Billy Doyle ever To your knowledge, try to uh, turn Sharon on with cocaine. Not to my knowledge. 
And I uh, really that was a character she had not even talked to. Did you ever come into the bedroom and find Billy Doyle was there? I want you in there. Well, no, not, uh, no, not in bed or anything like that, but in the no, same room. I saw, I saw once or three times in my life. I know that I saw him once, that was during the party, right? And saying that all three times, I mean that I saw some kind of characters around uh, Mama Cass when I saw her uh, in um, John Phillips' house once she arrived and, and le left after 10 minutes with some kind of two guys. And the second time I was at some party at Del Negro, Del Negro's house. And I think that I may have seen the same man over there, but I'm, I'm not sure. Because as I told you already, I just dismissed this type of uh, thing, like numbers, I can't remember uh, names. I remember things that, I, that interest me, you know. But uh, even assuming, I mean, Billy Doyle, I don't think that Charlie even knew who Billy Doyle was. These are things that, that you know, have been Rumored and counter-rumored and all that sort of thing. It's just a matter of uh, checking it with you, frankly. Uh, what was uh, your impression of Mama Cass? Speaking of numbers. Bad news. From the beginning to the end. I, I hardly know her. But you news, know, I mean, just stay away from it. I didn't like her. I, I mean, first time I met her was at John Phillips' house. She came with some kind of two uh, little jerks. I think probably one of them was Billy Dollar. The other one was better looking guy than Billy Dollar, but very much. <sighs> and one of these guys from his photograph, you know. Yeah, it is. It was. But you, uh, you looked a little different at that time, that's the trouble. Maybe, you know, sort of, like, I, oh, I, I mentioned several times, sort of Elvis Presley type of guy, you know? And they uh, sort of walk around and stuff, they were always very uh, young. And, uh, and, and John said, look, look at these two guys, I mean, look, look who is she hanging with? And that's it. And she left ten minutes after. Second time I saw her, I think, somewhere at the party. I wonder if it wasn't my party, the big party that I gave in, in January, which was a lovely party, you know, beautiful people, and everybody enjoyed tremendously that right? was the beautiful Hollywood party. And among them suddenly was that Billy Doyle, and I think Mara Kasky also. I'm not sure you didn't smoke cigarettes. Thank you. 